Scotland's largest teaching union is confident a new pay offer will be made to avert a teacher's strike on Thursday but is still preparing to take action that will close most schools. Teachers across the country are due to stage a 24-hour walkout after rejecting a 5% pay increase, calling for 10%. EIS General Secretary Andrea Bradley said the union was hopeful of a new offer and was prepared to negotiate. We are ready to consider a new offer as soon as it comes to us, she said. Deputy First Minister John Swinney previously said there was no more money to fund public sector pay rises. It followed Scotland's largest nursing union voting to go on strike for the first time ever in a dispute over pay. Further EIS strike dates have been set for January 10 in primary schools and January 11 in secondary schools. The Scottish Secondary Teachers Association SSTA, is also considering taking strike action in the week beginning December 5. Ms Bradley told BBC Scotland's Sunday show she was very hopeful there would be a new offer having been in informal discussions with the Scottish Government. But she said that as things stood, there had not been any new offer since the previous one was rejected in September so the strike would be going ahead as planned. As things stand, the EIS continues to plan for a day of national strike action on Thursday which is likely to close almost all schools in Scotland, she said. We are hopeful however, that over the course of this weekend Scottish Government and COLA colleagues will have been able to have arrived at an agreement around a more substantial offer than the 5% that was rejected in the, the middle of September. We are ready to consider a new offer as soon as it comes to us at the beginning of the working work. Ms Bradley said the Union's Salaries Committee had scheduled a meeting for Tuesday and another meeting of its Executive Committee planned for Wednesday. So we are more than ready to consider any offer that comes forward from the Scottish Government and COLA over the course of the next couple of days, she said. Of course we are prepared to negotiate. We have been negotiating around this since April. She pointed out that when the EIS claim for a 10% increase was lodged, inflation was at 7% but was now at 11.1%. So a 10% pay award would be a 1.1% real terms pay cut and that's against the backdrop of teachers' salaries being eroded to the tune of 25% since 2008, she said. She told the program the union would not like to see any cuts to the education budget. Should that occur the responsibility for that will very much lie with the Scottish Government, not with teachers and not with the EIS who are quite rightly looking to protect the living standards of teachers as hard-working public sector workers, she said. When you underfund education it is ultimately the children and young people who will be disadvantaged. She said that as teachers had not received any pay increase yet they were struggling to meet the cost of food, fuel, energy and housing and some members were now using food banks. It came on top of U560M cuts to public services in September. Ms Bradley said the EIS understood the position the Scottish Government was in but said it had known well in advance that there was going to be a substantial teacher pay claim coming this year. They knew to expect this and yet they haven't planned adequately for it so the responsibility rests with the Scottish Government, she said. The Scottish Government has said it is committed to supporting a fair pay offer through the Scottish Negotiating Committee for Teachers, the body that negotiates pay and conditions of service. Education Secretary Shirley Ann Somerville previously said the Scottish Government recognised the vital importance of reaching a fair and affordable resolution on pay, both for the workforce during a cost-of-living crisis, and for the pupils and parents. Strikes in our schools are in no one's interest, she said least of all for pupils, parents and carers who have already faced significant disruption over the past three years. The EIS said 96% of its members backed a teacher's strike on a 71% turnout.